Hello and welcome to Odoo Live. I'm Natasha here at Odoo. I work with the content marketing team. And here today we have for you Ryan Nemec, our business advisor, and he's going to talk to you all about the Documents app in Odoo. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you all for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, so yeah, I'll go into one of our new applications starting in version 12, uh, Odoo Documents. It's a great solution to be able to uh, manage documents internally, uh, be able to organize them and be able to share them with your team and people outside your team. Um, so moving along, uh, this will be a quick breakdown of how the demonstration will go. So we'll have an introduction, which is what we're currently doing, uh, a basic overview of Odoo Documents functionality, uh, how you can manage your documents, create tags and move things in, and then we'll open it up to uh, questions. So, uh, moving along, this is our Odoo Documents. Uh, like I said, it is a new application starting in version 12. Uh, and it is a great way to be able to organize your documents by teams, by importance, be able to um, uh, create tags and upload different uh, documents. So, as you can see right here, we have uh, Odoo Documents is broken down into a few different uh, solutions. There is our folders, uh, there are tags, and then there are actions, all of which are very important to uh, the different aspects of Odoo. Now, if you saw when I clicked into this one right here, City, uh, you can see this is a, a picture that's in here, and it belongs to the folder of internal, and then there are tags associated with it. Uh, and you can click on this by open it up like that, and you get an idea of the city right there. Uh, you can also do the same by clicking just on the icon right there. Uh, you can schedule activities in it and also uh, use stars to rate importance, which is a common theme throughout all of it. Um, and so over here on the right side, as uh, I click into here, you can see that all the information regarding how this folder performs within Odoo is listed right here. So you have the name of the folder, uh, which you can rename. Uh, you can have it associated with a contact of yours. Uh, you can have somebody who owns the folder. So the person who's the manager of that folder, uh, the, uh, of this uh, uh, document, the uh, person who's in charge of it, essentially. So say, for example, if it's a finance document, your accounting uh, team would be the owner or whoever would be in charge of that would be. Uh, and then what folder this belongs to. Uh, and so the folders up here, you can see there are uh, internal, finance, HR, marketing, and pro uh, products. And clicking through these, you can see there's different documents that belong to each one of these different folders that are in here. Um, now, there are right here some smart buttons that are involved uh, with how you can move this folder within Odoo and how you can interact with it. Uh, you can download it, uh, pretty straightforward. You just download straight onto your computer. Uh, you can share it. So you can share it with uh, different people within your organization or even people outside of the organization. And I'll get into the sharing a little bit later. Uh, you can uh, replace it. So you can click on here and add a new image into here uh, and completely replace the uh, what this is while still keeping the different tags and the folders intact. Um, and then lastly, over on this side at least, you can lock it. So the per only the person who owns the uh, um, uh, document would be able to lock it and lock out everybody who does not is not the owner of the document from making changes or adjusting it in any way. Um, and then last but not least, you can archive it which is a theme uh, throughout all of Odoo, uh, where you can essentially remove it from your database. Um, and then there's also, uh, speaking of things that are themes throughout all of Odoo, uh, there is the chatter up here. Uh, so what you can do is you can schedule activities with uh, this document. So say, I need to uh, validate this document, and I need to do that tomorrow. So we can schedule that. And now, you, as you can see, there is that green clock associated with it. There's the reminders set up here to validate this tomorrow. Uh, all very standard uh, uh, aspects of the Odoo chat. Now, um, within here, we can get into tags. 
So tags right here are um, uh, different aspects that you can see of these uh, within these folders. And as you can see, if I'm moving between here of these different uh, uh, documents within these different folders, there's different tags. So this is an asset images. Or if I go into internal here, you can see this is uh, draft status and knowledge other. Um, and so you can create these different tags and they're easily searchable here on the left. So for internal folders, we can see, I wanna see everything that's currently a draft. You can click on here and then everything that's currently a draft instantly pops up. Um, or we could do what needs to be, what is other and what is considered other. And that is here uh, within the, uh, the tags. Um, so it's pretty, you can easily create new tags and create new folders as well. Uh, so if we go into our configuration, you can see there are folders, tags, actions, and shared links are the options here. I'll get to actions and shared links in a little bit. Um, so with the folders here, you can see all the different folders that we created. Uh, and that I, so you could see initially. So there's internal, finance, HR, marketing, products. And then under marketing, uh, you can see there are parent folders that are uh, brand one and brand two. So, so uh, that is um, uh, uh, being able to uh, 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 essentially separate the, the marketing from two different brands that would be available there. So if we create a new folder, uh, so let's say this new folder is personal information. And now you can define that as having um, let's say it's part of the internal. So we're creating a, uh, a sub category of that folder within here. So if now we now save that, if we go back to our documents here, you can see internal and it has this here and you can pull up all the subfolders that are underneath that folder. And that's useful for just continued organization of your documents, uh, and being able to, uh, easily find everything that's in, within there. Um, and so as far as creating tags, it's a similar process. Uh, you can create different types of tags here. So whether they're status tags that are, uh, and that are related to, say, the internal folder or status tags that are related to the finance folder and things like that, you can go in here, create a new tag, assign what folder it's associated with, and then have the tag underneath here. Um, another way to do that is, or right here, you can do tag categories and create a subcategory in there for those different tags. Um, so that is a lot of uh, uh, the, the basic overview of Odoo's documents, uh, how they're organized, how you can tag them in different ways, and uh, different ways that you can um, uh, organize them within your documents application. So um, next, what we can do uh, is this area up here, uh, which is particularly interesting because um, it allows you to be able to upload these documents in here and have them associated with tags, uh, request documents, and share them. And you can even share outside of the organization uh, for what you currently have. So uh, for example, uh, sharing the documents, just as an example, you can uh, choose a document and say you're sending an invoice out to a customer um, and you want to be able to do that and uh, uh, you can send them a URL and they'll be able to interact with that and I'll be able to demonstrate that later. Now, uh, one thing I did want to highlight on before I moved any farther was uh, Odoo's OCR capabilities. So if I go into finance here, you can see that there are invoices uh, available here and I can click into here, see what kind of invoice this is. It's a vendor bill, uh, it's in the finance. Uh, and if I click into it, uh, you can see it's, it's a uh, invoice from Azure Interior. Um, so if I go and I just have uploaded this uh, PDF, it's a PDF right here. Uh, if I go to this action of create vendor bill. Now from here we have uh, the the invoice, as you can see, represented right here. And then it's linked to our aspect of creating a vendor bill right here. 
So let's send the file through the OCR. Give it a minute, the data extraction started, it happens between five and 60 seconds, and then you update status. And now it's auto-populated with uh, the information that is provided uh, within the invoice. Uh, as you can see now, the vendor is Azure Interior. Uh, it has the vendor reference number. It has the account that it's under, the quantity, the unit price, everything uploaded. Um, obviously, there are times when you may need to go in and uh, edit certain things and make sure uh, that all the information is there. But this is a great tool to help save you time uh, to be able to just upload your vendor bills and have Odoo read it. And then you can validate the vendor bill and um, uh, directly from the documents application here and uh, uh, move on with your business. So. Um, if we're going to, uh, as far as the documents, as far as uh, uploading uh, and sharing, uh, I like to start with uh, requesting a document, actually. So what you can do is request a document. Let's just name it new document. Uh, we have the owner in here. Uh, what It belongs in the finance folder. And then you can have any tags that you want to add to it. Uh, so let's request the document. And now that appears here with, it's an empty document that I just requested the document, but it appears within the finance tag here uh, with a scheduled activity that needs to be, uh, as you can see, uh, the document has been requested. The information was sent to Mitchell Admin, who is our admin here for the uh, uh, demo database. And uh, it already has uh, all this information. And so it comes with the actions already of being able to validate the documents or being able to review the documents as well. So it's a great way to alert people within your organization that you need a certain document, you need, uh, say, a sales order or something like that, uh, and you want that to be uploaded. And you can request that document and it makes that placeholder ahead of time. Now, when sharing documents uh, going from here, let's say we're doing uh, open invoice, uh, here and let's select these documents. Let's deselect that. Okay. And let's choose uh, these invoices here that we're going to uh, uh, share with somebody else. So if I hit share right here, what it does is it creates a URL for the customer to go to. So um, uh, what we can do is go to, uh, let's name this something. So, um, uh, T-shirts, or let's do invoices. Invoices. Oh, and it allows them to download, or it allows them to download or upload the files that you're sending through the URL. And then you can decide when this is actually, they're still able to do this. So you could set it up that uh, they're only able to download these invoices till tomorrow. And we can set that up. Now, if I go to this URL, copy the text, and go to the URL, let's see. Here are the folders that I've chosen. Uh, and so this can be sent out to people outside of your organization. And a good way to be able to send these documents out uh, for other people to download them, other people to uh, uh, um, upload them, potentially, if you allow that functionality. Uh, and upload documents into there. And uh, it's a secure way to do all of that, uh, even with the validity that's there. So um, what we have here is uh, um, uh, you can add, you know, of course, upload any documents into here. We can do, let's do the death of Socrates. And that comes up automatically in the internal folder because that's where I uploaded the, inter, uh, the folder, and it comes automatically with the actions that were defined within that folder. Um, you can create new actions through the actions here where um, uh, you can define, like say when I did the OCR reading, the, uh, this is create vendor bill, and you can see the actions here uh, going from documents to vendor bill, status to review, uh, things like that. One thing I did realize that I didn't show you when uh, doing the shared links is you can actually manage all of the links that you've shared and what access that you've had. If you go into configuration and shared links, 
You can see uh, where the uh, invoices came from. Uh, the share type is a domain. Can they upload or download uh, any of these links and see when it was created on and if it's live? Uh, and then you can always uh, create new activities there or upload uh, things from there or have it assigned to a specific contact. Um, so that is a, uh, our overview of our Odoo Documents application. Uh, now we're going to open it up to a few questions uh, that I can answer. Mm -hmm. So do images used for the website builder or files we attach to transactions appear in documents? Um, only if you want them to. So you can upload those documents into there. Uh, I can get a bit more clarification on the images used in the website builder being sent there, but I imagine it would be uh, you would upload those documents and create a folder saying what images do you have in your website, and then you'd be able to uh, have them in that folder. Is DMS available in the community version? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I primarily work in the uh, enterprise version, uh, and so that is where I, uh, I, I'm an expert at. Um, I can get some clarification. If you'd like to shoot me an email, I would be happy to uh, send you something about what, what's available in the community version and what's not. So if I'm not seeing any more questions, it might take a second to come in, but what's the email address people can reach you at for yeah. more questions? Yeah, absolutely. So they can reach me at rne at odoo.com. Awesome. Cool. I'm not seeing any more coming in yet. Uh, that was great. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want, you can like and follow and subscribe to our channel to see more videos about Odoo. Uh, if you have any requests for webinar topics, feel free to email us at webinars at odoo.com. Uh, thank you so much. If you want to rewatch this, you can just copy this link, watch it from the top all over again. Oh, we have one quick question. Yeah. Talk of U.S. payroll. Any talk of U.S. payroll? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, if you want to shoot me an email, again, uh, we get a little clarification on that. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much. We've been Odoo Live. Thank you all. Thank you.